Are you bombarded with all the different options of meal containers out there? I know I have different cooler bags and I've used different cooler bags and they all have different containers. How do you know which are the best ones? Well, here today, I'm gonna show uh, five of the top brands of meal containers out there. And I'm gonna take you through four different tests. Uh, quality, stackability, uh, leak proof and designs and honestly you don't want to miss the leak proof part so stay to the end of the video. My name is Mark Holloway Chuck and I am the co-founder of Performa and today I have five different meal container designs here that I'm going to take you through and show you um, which ones um, win and honestly which ones aren't so good. So uh, let's get right into it. So these are the five brands that we have. Uh, first we have Six Pack, now we have Fitmark, and we have Jax, then we have Isolator, and then finally we have our Performa brand here. So I'm gonna take you through, uh, honestly, I'm gonna be as unbiased as I can uh, and go through these different features and see uh, um, which ones I feel you should check out and try and honestly, which ones to avoid. So first with quality, uh, here I have the six pack one. Uh, overall from an initial appearance looks good. It's um, good size, uh, I would say maybe, uh, I don't know, it doesn't say the size on it, so, so I don't know what size it is. Um, but maybe around 24, 28 ounces. Um, it has the kind of locking on it. So, so let's see how that works. Yeah, opens really well. Um, that's something you really want is you want, the, you want the different kind of features, the closing features on the side here. Uh, again, good size. Uh, overall, I would say this feels good. Uh, from a rigidity standpoint, um, it's a little bit flimsy, but, but overall, I think it's still, I'm still pretty good. Um, and then the lid, the lid's a little bit kind of flimsy too, but again, um, the quality of this one I would say, I'd say is pretty good. Um, and we'll listen for um, the closure, because that's what you want to make sure, you want to hear the click. I would say that's pretty solid. Next, the Fitmark one. Um, so it's overall, it's good, it's clear all the way through, so you can see your food, um, which is fantastic. Uh, don't know what size, it doesn't say. Um, but, but I would think it's somewhat similar size to, to the six pack fitness one. Uh, again, you have the closures. Let's see how easy they open. Yeah, it feels like a good seal. Um, I would be, I would be quite happy at least kind of looking at it from, from initial standpoint. Um, yeah, good depth. It's nice if you have it this kind of shape so you can kind of stack more food. Uh, only disadvantage is I kind of like the other, the six pack are kind of the more flat ones cause then you kind of lay out your food. Um, whereas in here, you kind of have to pile your food on top of everything, but this one uh, overall seems good. So let's now see how it closes with a click. Also, you want it to line up well. Um, that's something, um, the most annoying thing when you have a milk container is you don't want to be like, how do I get the lid on or line it up? And this one here seems to line up well, and let's see how it clicks. I would say that's pretty good. Um, from an initial kind of quality standpoint, from a strength standpoint, actually quite strong. Uh, I would say I'm um, stronger than the six pack fitness one. Um, definitely, uh, I know it's smaller and so um, it would make it feel a little bit stronger, but um, definitely feels like it's a little bit kind of heavier, a little bit more plastic in it. Uh, then the container itself too, this is, this is quite strong too. Uh, I would say this one, this one's quite well made, um, good quality. Uh, I like that one. Okay, moving on. Um, so this here is the Jax. Uh, I'll get the lid on here. Uh, so initial glance uh, looks nice. Um, obviously noticeably you can't see it has the clicking and so this one's just kind of a little kind of pop top. So let's see how easy it comes off. Oh, that's quite easy that it kind of comes off there, but uh, you never know, maybe when you have liquid, maybe it kind of um, seals a little bit better. Um, I like it shows the actual measurements on the side. I think that's great. Uh, we have two cups, um, 16 ounces. So, um, so we get a gauge of kind of what size uh, capacity or how much you have in here. Um, yeah, overall, from a strength standpoint, um, feels good, not great. Um, the fit mark one I thought was stronger. It has nice kind of, on um, the kind of ridges here to help it kind of stack easier, which is great. Um, and then in terms of closure, I don't even know if it has, does it have a rubber seal in there? I can't tell. Um, definitely from a sealing standpoint, um, I would definitely be more concerned with this one. On um, the lid though, I'm decently strong, so, so I would say this um, lid is well made. Um, but from a uh, uh, no click, uh, uh, you really want something that reassurance. At least I do um, to know that it's really sealed really well. Um, this one here, I would be concerned with, but we'll see with the leak test, uh, which will be really interesting. Uh, next, we have the Isolator Fitness. So 
on the isomeal containers. Um, at first glance, honestly, um, if this didn't say isolator on it, um, I would think it's like a, like a takeaway food container. Like if I go to a restaurant and I had to take my food home, um, that's what I would kind of think of this as. Um, it's great if you want some, I guess that's more disposable, but um, I would prefer something not disposable. I don't want to be using once and throwing out all these different containers uh, from, from an environmental standpoint, but uh, the container itself is big. Um, that's great. Um, it has these kind of notches on here, so it makes it nicer for stacking, um, at least if you have the containers here. Um, in terms of size, again, doesn't say what size it is, uh, so I am not sure. Let's see how the lid kind of pops off here. That's not bad, um, but, but obviously like the whole container, like I easy, whoa, yeah, I'm not good. So um, really, really, uh, I'd be concerned about the durability of it. So depending how long you're lasting, if you want it to last. Um, the lid I think is okay, but again, uh, it really reminds me of kind of a, kind of a take a takeaway container. Um, it says reusable, so so all the containers here too um, would be microwave safe. Um, I wouldn't put the lids on when I put it in the microwave. Uh, they'd be dishwasher safe, again, top rack dishwasher safe. And so from that standpoint, um, you're covered there, but from an actual durability standpoint, the quality standpoint, I would be quite uh, concerned with this one here. Uh, now moving on to our Performa one. Um, so, so at first glance, uh, kind of nice lid. Um, it has kind of the, um, the closures here on the side. Um, feels strong. Um, let's see how kind of the opening is. It feels good, um, good resistance. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so from a, from a strength standpoint, like this is, this is very, very strong. Like I am, I'm trying to squeeze it as hard as I possibly can here. Um, so, so from a durability standpoint, I, I would be very, very confident with this. Um, really, really well made. Uh, let's feel even the lid as comparison. So even the lid, like I'm, I'm really trying to bend it. Um, so I found this one here. This one you're quite strong. Um, the Fitmark one I think would be the closest one to the Performa one. Um, the six pack one was more flimsy. So, so I think the Fitmark one would kind of be closest to this, but this one definitely, um, um, and how it works with a lot of the strength of these different containers too, um, it's the amount of plastic that's used. And so they actually, the amount of grams used. So if you use more um, and combined with the kind of, um, the uh, design of the actual container will actually make it stronger. So. Uh, the Performa one uses more plastic in it to make sure it's a stronger uh, container that's going to last longer. So uh, and let's try the closure standpoint. Uh, also too, what's nice with this one uh, is it has an extra kind of fin here to be able to kind of pop it open. Um, the other ones, I don't think any of them have, um, the six pack one didn't, Fitmark didn't. Um, the Jax one has a little kind of tab here. Um, so it's nice to have, uh, a tab to be able to open it. You want something to pop easy open with your finger. Um, so let's listen to the click and see how this one sounds. That's fantastic. So again, on the click, I found these two on the end here had a good click. The Performer one has a great click. Um, that definitely gives me confidence that it's closed and it's not gonna leak. So next, let's move on to the stacking and nesting. And so, so stacking, um, do they fit easily inside each other? How does that work? Uh, let's start off here with the six pack ones. Here, that's perfect. Yeah, that's great. So from a, a stacking nesting standpoint, that's great. Um, then you can just kind of stack the lids on top like this, uh, nice and compressed. Uh, that's great. Uh, next, let's move on to the fit mark here. Uh, it's not so great. So this is about as far as it goes, and so. Uh, from a nesting standpoint, uh, not great. Um, you really have to push them and I would concern you either can't get them apart or you might damage the actual products if you put them together. Um, and then, so if we do that, the lids kind of fit on nice, I guess, just, just over top like that, but uh, not ideal uh, in terms of stacking. There. Uh, the jacks, let's test these out. Oh, that's decent. Yeah, like that's that's pretty good. Um, kind of nest inside. What you want to do is just save space. So this definitely saves space. Um, but I guess one advantage with not having kind of kind of clicking fins on the side is it is a little bit nicer if you don't kind of have the fins sticking out. If you have multiple stacked, I know at home in my kind of cupboard I have a bunch of tops and the tops are a little bit wider because they have the fins. But uh, overall, 
Um, it's not bad um, in terms of stacking and nesting. I would say it's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, I'll try the ISO. Yeah, stacking's perfect. This is like nesting, like this nest, I'll tie the other one perfectly. Um, here and then again, what's cool, even the lids nest, and you can kind of put them on this way or even put them upside down. Um, so in terms of space, I think this one here, this one was really good um, to, to nest them together. So uh, that makes it, makes it really nice. And then Performa one. Uh, so the Performa one nests. Uh, I would say it's uh, okay for nesting. Um, a not as good as the Isolator or, or is the six pack. Um, better than Fitmark. Um, maybe around the same as Jack's, I would say. Maybe um, Jack's maybe a little bit better um, for nesting. So um, nesting is something in old Performa we need to make it a little bit better, I think, on future ones. So, so it nests but um, not as perfectly as the other ones. All right, uh, moving on to what you've been waiting for, the leak-proof test. Um, how do these stack up in terms of being leak-proof? And so um, the science behind what we're gonna do is basically gonna put some water in it. I'm gonna shake them around and see does water come out. Um, if it does, then it's not leak-proof, but if water stays in, then I would say at least from this kind of um, basic test, um, I would say it passes. So um, let's start off here with the six pack one. Take my Performa the Rock Shaker Cup. Try here. So, so you can see, at least initially, the liquid's not coming out. So that's good. Shake it a little bit harder. Seems pretty good. Oh, uh oh. I had a little bit of water come out, but overall, I would say this one's this one's really good. I just maybe had a little bit of splash, maybe there, but yeah. Overall, I would say six pack one's really good. Uh, okay, let's try next the fit mark. So you can see all the water looks good. I don't see anything. Seems good. Oh, a little bit there. Uh oh. No. Oh no. Is that just extra water that was there that kind of splashed out, or is it still coming out? I think seems good. Um, uh, that might have been some extra water that just kind of splashed out with the shaker. Uh, but overall, I would say this one, this one's good. Again, it has the on um, the snapping closure. That that really makes it that much better. You can see the red ring around it. That's the, that's the silicone seal that it has. That's why, that's what makes it, uh oh. Okay, um, this one definitely has water coming out now. So there's water leaking out. Uh, looks like this corner here. Um, so um, definitely not a pass. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give that one a pass. Oh, all right, next, now let's try Jack's. Uh, I'm gonna be so careful with putting the water in to make sure that I don't spill any. So we get a really accurate test here. Okay. Whoa, holy. Okay, uh, lots of water just came out. The whole lid just kind of popped up. Um, I didn't even feel like I was shaking it that hard. Um, and yeah, I would absolutely not. I don't need to shake it anymore. Um, not leak proof. Do not put water or soup or anything in it and put it in your bag. Um, water will come out of that one, for sure. Now, okay, um, let me just make sure I don't use the one that's cracked open uh, to test this. Uh, okay, let's put water in here. Uh, I'm kind of scared with this one, so I'm not gonna put too much water in. Uh, here, let me just grab one lid. Even this one is even a little bit cracked. So even just from opening the container, um, it kind of cracked a little bit on the corner. So I don't know if that's gonna affect the results, but um, honestly, uh, I would not put this in my bag even without testing it, but oh yeah, okay. Uh, water's going everywhere with this one. Um, absolutely not a leak-proof container. Uh, last, let's try our Performa one. See the water sitting inside there all nice. as hard as I possibly can here. Ah. Oh, 
absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So um, I would give it a pass. Um, I would give the six pack fitness a pass. Um, I wouldn't give the other ones a pass. Or at least I don't have the confidence, personal confidence in the other ones that if I was to put it in my bag um, or kind of leave it on its side or tip it over, any of those kinds of things that I would be really confident that the liquid wouldn't come out of it. So um, these, are the, these are the two I would say um, as far as leak tests go. So, uh, and then the final test uh, was just more based on designs and variety. Um, nowadays you don't want um, one design, one color, one of anything, you want infinite designs. You want all kinds of fun colors and designs and all that. So um, in doing some in doing some research, um, I wasn't really able to find a lot of variety with, I know this one, um, this was only the black is the only other color I saw. Um, with the other ones, they were quite standard. Um, some of them had different colored plastics, different colored lids. I know six pack, I saw a few different colored lid styles and things like that, which is fine. But um, what I was looking for was more variety. So um, that's part of the reason too with the performer ones, why we're so excited about them. Um, is the variety. So, so I kind of showed you the ones that have the Performa pink, uh, then have the Performa black, uh, and then something that we feel really kind of makes us stand apart from the other companies um, is the amount of variety. So, so here we have some licensed ones. Here we have the Punisher, and we have the clear Punisher one here. And we got Darth Vader, again clear. Uh, and then finally we have um, Batman here on the black and then the clear. So um, that's something we definitely feel that Performa um, really separates us from all the other meal containers out there. Um, not to mention, as you saw, going through the different testing, they definitely performed well uh, compared to the other, uh, the other meal containers. So, um, and more designs to come. All right, everyone, um, now we're all done. Uh, just one final question. Uh, which one do you think is the best? Um, was it the six pack? Was it the Fit Mark? Was it the Jax? Was it the Isolator? Or was it the Performa? I know what I'm voting for. I um, would love to hear your feedback. Um, please drop your comments below. Um, subscribe to our channel. Um, find us on social. We're at Performa Nation, um, all social media accounts. Um, thanks so much for watching and look forward to talking to you again soon. Um, the ISO one doesn't um, stand well. Um, thanks with this one, um, is it has an extra kind of fin here to be able to kind of uh, uh, overall, uh, from a quality standpoint, uh, I definitely would um, think very highly of the Performa one the whole container. Please follow us on social. Everything is at Performination. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us everywhere. Performination. Join Performination. We're so excited to have you there.